So today is going to be kind of exciting. My friend Eric lives about 20 minutes away and him and his dad have been collecting monster stuff for years. We uh, became friends, I don't know, five years ago maybe. This guy hits me up on Instagram and he's like, hey, we love your collection. We'd love to come see it. If you let me check out the masks, my dad and I come see your masks, um, we'll let you come see our monster collection. And I'm like, oh my God, right in St. John? That's literally probably less than 20 minutes away. So I'm like, hell yeah, you got a deal, man. We all hit it off. His mom and dad are wonderful people. And uh, we've been pretty good friends for years now. And uh, man, their collection, it's not just masks like this. It's everything. It's monster puzzles, toys, games, you know, model kits, masks. I've painted masks for them. I've sold them masks, traded masks. So good dudes. And uh, man, they got a really cool basement. I think you guys are going to love this. Enough of me talking. Let's take a ride. Well, we made it. It's a perfect rainy day to go look through a monster collection. Love it, I live for this stuff. Man, and Eric is lucky because I brought him three jars of my signature hot peppers grown in my garden here in Northwest Indiana. They're hot and they are available on rudysworld.org. Now I don't have a website. Him and his dad have been collecting monsters for how long now? Uh, a couple weeks? Yeah, a couple hours. Now. A couple hours. Yeah, yeah, you got a lot of stuff. I found a lot of shit these Their days, basement's so. nuts. Let's go take a look, shall we? Yeah, let's go. Cool. Dude. It's been a minute since it's been here. Yes, it has. You guys ready for this? Holy cow. It is literally wall to wall monster stuff. There's even a secret room back there with more monster stuff. As you can see, they're musicians. They're weird musician people. We are weird, yeah. Yeah, I know the type. There's monster stuff. There's monster stuff everywhere. Like, this ain't gonna be like a quick shoot, man. Go for I'm it, dude. gonna like do really, whatever you gotta do, man. I'm gonna be digging deep here. Dig. Those of you that complain about my long videos, guess what? And you got new stuff since I've been here. I got a lot of new stuff, dude. Uh, the secret room's got a lot of cool new stuff. I like the secret room. That's What's up with this creature? Dude, that so, is the craziest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I got that on, e on Amazon for ten dollars. Wow, and you can still get them. Can you? Yep, no way. Yep, ten bucks. What the only reason heck? I got it, man, was because of the different colors. And but ten bucks, Did they have a child paint that thing. Well, uh, I think from China or something. Oh, uh, so like I was saying, these guys have a little bit of everything. Those uh, monster people out there, you monster kids, will probably recognize a lot of things in here. Um, they've got a big mixture of old and new, and it all just blends together nicely. You've talked to Butch Patrick several times, right? Yeah, I, I get Christmas cards from him every yeah, year. Yeah, Christmas and... cards from Butch Patrick. Yeah, there's the Wolf Wolf doll I bought from him. If you don't know who Butch Patrick is... I'm going to punch you in the face. That's Butch <laughs> that's, that's That's him. There's his Wolfie doll, right? Mm -hmm. That's the one he uh, produced, correct? Yes. So how did, yeah, what's the story behind this? I'm sitting on my patio in Destin, in my condo, and a phone call comes in. I answer and I go, hello. He goes, hi, this is Butch Patrick. Is this Eric? Uh, he goes, I got your number from a friend of ours, Cosmo Wilson, who was ACDC's lighting guy. Oh, yeah. Um, and I believe he was interested in selling some stuff, and I bought that thing from him. Eric works with the band. He's the drum tech for Kansas. And actually, I get I, to play. I play uh, three songs on stage every night, too. I told you guys in my Trans Am video, Eric works with Kansas, plays with Kansas yeah. for a long time now. Uh, 19 years. Are you kidding me? No, 19 years. Carry on my way, my... Uh, uh, yeah, but anyway, so yeah, the connection was through the music uh, people. Oh, yeah. For Bush Patrick. That's cool. I've. I've talked with Butch a few times at car events and conventions, and uh, we've actually talked about Plymouth Cudas. His friend's got a nice collection of Plymouth Cudas, so yeah, we uh, he he's uh, he's a cool dude, man. 
Yeah. It's crazy. It's weird when you're talking to Eddie Munster, you know? It's so <laughs> you're telling me, man. It's just a... I had to pinch myself a couple times. Look at that. Look at those model boxes back there. Golly, you got more stuff. Every time I come here, there's more stuff. Yeah, the glass cabinet, that's where you're getting the good stuff. Oh, I'm working my way down there. Look at... Got oh, you got the cabinet. Munster's living room. You didn't have that before. I uh, bought that uh, as a built-up at a flea market for five bucks. Did you? Uh-huh. Man. Now here, folks, this case has some serious stuff in it. Holy cow. Those of you that know your monster toys, these two items right here are probably some of the more, the most sought after monster toys yeah, in the think. whole hobby. Okay, this horror scope in the box, not never opened. The horror house target set. Oh my god, both sealed from the 60s, factory sealed, thousands of dollars right there. You know, I mean, it's not about the, the money, it's about the it's, rare. It's so freaking rare. Yep, and dude, you've got the glass. I've wanted these glasses forever. Uh, I know a guy who has a set of them, he wants to sell them. Is his name Eric? Nope. Damn. No, but I no, I, I do know a guy who do wants you? to sell them. Yes. I keep blowing it off. I I should you know pick these up. I just love them. It's just to me, it's pieces of history. It's preserving history. They're about a hundred bucks a piece now. I think, maybe more. I, I have no idea. So that mini monster play case, I still have the same one I opened at Christmas. Yeah. With the figures, my Ramco's seventy nine or eighty. I think it was nineteen eighty. Okay. And. Uh, I kept that. That was one of my favorite toys. I kept it all these years. I'm about to do a video on that playset and something new re regarding, you know, I know, I know about. exactly what you're talking about. So, uh, something cool coming up soon regarding those little Remco guys and something much bigger. Very cool. But anyway, we're going to save that for another video. But those are some of the coolest toys I ever had, that little monster set. And, uh, dude, this is, you, you just get lost in here. I come down and sit around and go, boy, I forgot I had that. Right? Speaking of the Remco, so here, here's those figures for that little play set. I think a lot of you guys may remember these, but they are highly collectible uh, toys now. They have been for quite a while, but they've shot up in value. Mm -hmm. There's different variations of them, different glow, glow in the dark. Different glow cards and some glow, some don't. Look at that Garlu. Is that a new one? That's a newer one, yeah. That's cool. It looks totally vintage. I need the original great guard. Dang, That's what dude. I'm really looking for. See that evening with Boris Karloff back there, that record? We know the guy that has the real mask that's on the cover right there. The original 60s Karloff mask. Watch, I'm gonna maybe you make this fall, right? If you do, I'm gonna punch you dude, so hard, Oh dude. my god. <gasps> Man. So that Werewolf of London, that was one of the things I got at the flea market the other day. Oh yeah, you sent me a picture of that stuff. So freaking cool. See, to me, it's cool to see something where it's everything. Like, I had a lot of monster stuff over the years that I sold off just to buy more masks. And I've got all masks. I have other monster stuff in the case, but seeing it all together like this is just awesome. It's a huge mixture of everything. I owe you a big debt of gratitude for hooking me up with a lot of this stuff man yes you do i really do you Dwayne, evil wilhelm bobby beeman thomas andrew miller all the greats carlos all the yeah just the super good guys sal dino aaron brooks crimson ghost crimson ghost <laughs> yeah the best crimson ghost mask um this what yeah. i'm i don't want to cut you off but yeah. this folks i've never seen another one of those this ever. is real deal original mobile Mobile, 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 yeah. Aurora, Aurora monster, models. monster model mobile from the 60s. 66, I believe, and it it was hung in hobby shops. Dude, um, that's that's crazy. That advertised the, the models, and I've never seen one of those other than the Frankenstein. Uh, I've never seen one of those ever. We're hoping to go home with this today for the collection. Um, we'll see how that goes. Look at that Herman Munster hand puppet. Didn't you have like a bunch of those at one point? I got uh, one down there, one in the box still. I got one back there. I got that. Man, so as you can see, they got all the cool books. Like my books are all stacked up in, you know, upstairs. Those, are, those little display cases are so yeah, cool. Yeah, that, that's so cool. I need to do that where they're, when my basement's done, I want to 
put the books on display because they look so good. Yeah. These boxes are reissued boxes, right? Oh, yeah. But look how freaking awesome they look. It, to, to collect all the originals like this would be a freaking fortune. You know, the real deal models, all these originals are hundreds of piece. For the, I do have all the originals though in the uh, in the uh, in the secret room. In the live room, no, where my dad's studio stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah. Man, dude. Check on my ribs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be here. Those are Esco statues, some of the coolest monster uh, things out, I think, from back in the day. I this was mine. I sold it to Eric. I should have kept it. Um I need to I need to replace them in my collection because I totally miss those things. There's uh man these old puzzles and they've got some serious stuff down here. All right, now I'm going to take you by their wall of masks. All right. Some of these are very familiar because I either sold them some of these or painted some of them. So let's check this out. They're big fans of Frankenstein, Wolfman, Dracula. They really love the universal monsters here. I mean, who doesn't that's into these, you know, old movies? They are the best. God, I sold a lot of these. I painted that phantom I painted for Eric. I think I painted it and he bought it. One, two, three, four, geez, five, what else? Six, I think seven, eight. I'm gonna need a lot of these masks back, man. Look what's front and center in my mask collection, man. The Wolfman? Well, I'll or the top, anyways. Yeah, so this, <laughs> this beautiful, who painted that? Oh my God, it's beautiful. Actually, I did all the paint work and the hair work on this. And the eyes. And the yeah, eyes, it was a blank. And I uh, worked on that one for him. It's cool, I like, uh, unfortunately on camera, it's coming out super yellow. It's mustard more of a yellow. it's more of a darker mustard with nice, you know, tones. Far but, right one I just got the other day from Aaron Brooks. It's a this one. Yeah. Did I sell you this Tony Patoko? Yes. Piece. Yeah, that's a that's a cool one, man. I sold you that one, the wide scar. Yep. 80, 83, 84 wide scar version, Frank. Some of the that, 83 uh, creature too. That's a rare one. Yeah, the 83 creature. I was pointing out some earlier that uh, I sold you. The Mutant. The Mutant. Oh, yeah, the Mutant. I painted that one. I made it look like it was all beat up and thrown around a basement for 40 years, you know. Pretty cool. I painted. I like the Phantom I did. Did you have me paint the Phantom? Like, was it yours or, the, or did I sell it? I bought it? a blank of it. And you did the... Uh... And Dwayne haired it. Dwayne haired it with the orangish reddish hair. Oh yeah, he's got his hair now. Dude, you got a lot of cool stuff. It's grown considerably. The Frankenstein robot, of course. Bride. This was sculpted and uh, painted and haired by uh, Dwayne Whitehead, our good friend. Very cool. A little sign I have for him. This is one of your best pieces. Oh yeah. Man, look at that. Oh yeah. I can hear him talking right now. Look at that sucker. The eyes. That is one of the best things in this room, man. I had that in my collection for a while on, on loan, remember? Oh, yeah, Took yeah, Took some yeah. pictures of it. This guy, I miss him too. That's a great one. Yes, like, one of my favorites. The beautiful eyes in that one. Kathy Tharp painted that of Don Post Studios. Same with this set. Rob mm -hmm. and Kathy did all the hair work and paint work on that. What a... Uh, why did I sell that to you guys? Jeez. Beautiful. Where's that uh, mold on? These are what? Re-pops? Re is this, this the original? Is not, this is the original. Really? Yes. These are the uh, Ooh. speakers. Wow. Those of you out there, 
If you ever run across the old orange candy bucket like this, I really want one. So hit me up. I'm looking for that. That's a re remake of the original speaker. Yeah, that was made in the 90s, early 90s. Somebody made re remade those. The uh, original's from 1963. Yes. It's a monster speaker. Was it made for your bicycle or just a speaker There's for your a house? There's a speaker head. Uh, the top right here is a speaker. Like somebody have a Bluetooth speaker and today, right? You actually, there's a plug right back here. It works, right? And it totally works. Wow. And there's a box for it. The original Not would sell original. for crazy money. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So even the, the remake is probably hundreds, right? It's all about how much somebody will pay. Right. I think it, that's why I saw it like 400 bucks or something. Man, was this mine too? Uh, you did the... Uh, oh, I brought it back to... Like, yes. he was a mess. Yeah, got I got it cheap. Uh, that's right. I know. I knew I recognized him. Yeah. My God, dude. I have a problem. Here is a nice uh, Don Post reissue mutant. This one's got a really nice shape to it. Nice claws painted by Kathy, I assume. Yep. Kathy Tharp. Yep. This was mine too. It was. Painted by Pete from the Devil's Workshop. Yeah. Man, I, I've had so many masks, it's crazy. One of my favorites too, man, is that, uh, that Werewolf of London one on the left next to the Orange Wolf Man up top. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's a Henry Alvarez sculpt. Alvarez, yeah. And Dwayne Whitehead did all the painting here. Finished it off. Nice underwear back there. Those are cool. Yep, smell them. No, I don't want to smell them. So here's a set of Sokies. Not this dude, but these were bottles of like bubble bath. From the 60s, I had those suckers. 60s or 70s. I remember having different Sokies as a kid. But uh, I had the whole damn set and I sold them a couple years ago. Probably to buy a rare mask. I need to get these back. Cool puppets down here. That mummy puppet is so cool. Look, Which one? Look at these puppets on the bottom. Oh, yeah. How old are those? Those are from, I want to say, late 80s, early 90s. And they would shake around, and you can hang them from something. These are a couple of really rare toys. Um, I think the boxes are obviously... Re that's definitely a, a homemade box. I think the toy could be the real deal, though. I'll have to ask them. I don't know if they repopped that toy or not, but that is uh, definitely a really sought-after Frankenstein toy. I love the candle making set. Yes, found it at a garage sale for 50 bucks. Really? Mm -hmm. Man, is that cool. The box, I mean, just having the box, and I know the pieces are in it too. I got that. Didn't you guys make a candle or make something? I made, yeah, I made a couple. They're back there. That then. is so cool, dude. And then I got this as well. This oh, and this yeah. for 50 bucks. I think I used to have those. All these little figures, man, I got some of these. ice cream spoons were really cool too oh my god yeah here's some really uh really awesome monster collectibles here that and also you guys scored some killer pieces all at one shot just it was, rare. A, it was a very unfortunate yeah. way we did but it was a relative or i believe right my sister-in-law's father passed and he had a lot of the stuff in his basement. Look at that, those weird monsters. Both of these are very sought after pieces. Extremely rare, yeah, the Phantom of the Opera on top, very cool. 59 cents, dude, I'll give you five bucks for that right now. Sold. Yes.
Is that a real card? Or is that like no? This a, is something somebody made up. Apparently, those but, are the real rings, though. Yeah, they're very cool. Wow, are they rings or those are heads for their heads? Oh, those are the heads for the models. Glow in the dark ones. Yeah. Dang, that's cool. Like a display, a counter display. Yeah. Didn't like a case of these show up or something in years the ago? 80s? I want to say somebody found a box of them. Oh my god. I'm not sure if that's from the 80s or if that's you know, but they were made in the 60s. Crazy. I've got some pictures of me holding these. I'll probably put in this video so you can see these more in detail. Those are new, Brand but new. they look vintage. Are those the ones that come with little masks? Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Man. All right, now come with us into the so, secret room. Yeah, I'll show you my uh, my come little on. secret room. Come on. Here's where I hit my head every time. You just got to be very careful. It's like you got to climb in here like. Be very careful. Oh, God. Hey, I got Watch it. your head. Oh, I got a duck walk in here. All right. So now I'm in this hidden room here that's got lots of cool stuff. More masks. More drums. And even Santa Claus. Look at that. Dracula mystery game. Frankenstein mystery game. The Wolfman mystery. And Monster Mansion. I hope it's not too dark so you can see these, but man. Really cool stuff. Old cookie jars, the old magnet games, remember those? You put the beards on the guys and the mustaches. Oh man, dude, I remember that. God, so many memories. Plus I'm seeing things, you know, that I've seen at a million toy shows over the years. That's cool. Look at this sucker, man. This Fright Factory is absolutely mint. I don't even want to open it. Every piece is in there, barely even touched. Oh, so cool. The good old days, man. I'll have to show you guys some of my creepy crawler sets later. I got a lot of that stuff in my office. Here's more Remco monsters from that little set we looked at. But just tons of cool, cool stuff. That's a great old book. Pretty famous. Uh, monster book that a lot of monster people uh, will recognize hope you guys are digging this because i love coming here literally 20 minutes away from my house you don't see this everywhere you don't see people collecting this stuff you know i've met more people out here though with you know similar things but uh it's not very often you, see, you find monster collections in your area i know of plenty of them across the country and overseas but you know, this close to home, it's pretty awesome. Those statues though, man. Oh, these are the nice heavy ones, right? I got all of them for like 200 bucks. Are they Sideshow? Who makes these? Yes, Sideshow on the yeah. bottom, they're all numbered. I think limited at 250. Wow. Look at that, that creature puzzle back there. Creature puzzle. Those look so great, the, you know, framed. Yep. Oh, look at the Frankenstein one too. Uh, that's a, I, I totally recognize that one. That one, here's the original box for the Phantom one. Phantom one's one of my favorite puzzles because of the coloring. The color of it just looks... Go -Go, uh Gogo's art. Yep. Wow. What's up with the red wolfman? What that's is a t-shirt. That's a t-shirt? That is a t-shirt. Wow. Yeah. I want to show them the coolest t-shirt you've got down here. Oh my god. Oh yeah, yeah. This, uh, my friends. Oh, let me... Uh, this is one of the coolest things in this whole collection. See if oh, I can move oh, this my. kit around. There so, monster... Monster collectors out there know of the famous 
1975 Famous Monsters Convention in New York. That is an original mint, mint, mint t-shirt that was probably framed in the 80s. Look at that. I would kill to find an original shirt just like that. They actually had, uh, and I almost bought it, it was an original bag. It was a, a holding, like a plastic yeah, bag. Yeah, the red bag. Yep. My friend has one of those. Oh my God. Watch your head. Oh yeah. Look back here now. You got the old illuminators from the 90s. Remember those? Oh. Those were the reissue Aurora models that glow in the dark. They're like, well, yeah, they glow under fluorescent lighting. I remember going to Toys R Us and they had tons of those for oh, sale. Oh yeah, definitely. I Early had 90s. Them. I had all those in my room back then. The old monster hands and just, you guys got the stuff, man. That old Santa Claus back there, believe it or not, man. That Santa Claus climbing up the ladder is a 1960s Coca-Cola no piece. Is it? Yes. Ho, Absolutely. Ho, ho. Wow. I lost the Coca-Cola sign, but it came from my grandfather. It was from the mid-60s. You're kidding me. No. It had a sign, too? Yep, on the bottom. <gasps> on the bottom of the base. Oh, wow. It had a Coca-Cola. This whole thing is part of it? Yes. you got to be kidding me. Yeah. You, you, know, know, you know who was interested in that, believe it or not? Who's that? Mick Foley, the wrestler. Was he? Yeah, he's a, he collects Santa Claus stuff. You know I'm uh, into vintage Christmas stuff. Yeah. I've never, ever seen one of these. Yep. Super rare. you got to be kidding me. And if a relative had this? My grandpa, yeah. Wow. Had that. We've had that probably. We've had that since 1983. You're maybe? shitting me. What did the uh, sign look like? It said Merry Christmas Coca-Cola. It was a wooden sign that sat literally right like on the, right base. On the base of it. Yeah. Wow. It said, uh, Happy Holidays Coca-Cola. From a store, like a store display. Was the elf always part of it? Yep. That Dude. is, as it was, never... Wow. Other than the sign being gone. That's crazy. I, who knows what that's worth. Coca-Cola stuff can be bonkers, man. McFoley does. McFoley. You got Mc, the board games. McLovin. I, did, I shot the board games yeah. earlier. Is that all of them? Is there? No, a, oh no. no, there's three more I'm missing. Oh, My friend has the sorry. creature one. I was talking about it today. He's got the creature game. What do those sell for? Uh, I, those three are actually more common. The creature, the mummy, and the phantom are the tough ones to find. Are they? Yep. Unfortunately. Hundreds of dollars? Uh, yeah, hundreds. Um, and if you want it bad enough, maybe up to a thousand bucks. I don't want that bad. For those three. Wow. Well, yeah, what's up with these paintings? I was looking at those. Um, a good friend of mine, her name is Liz Fisher. She is a massive Kansas fan, good friend of mine though, um, and painted me these two lovely paintings. They're neat. They look like old. Someone did them years ago. You know? uh, she presented them to, presented them to me at a gig, and uh, I think they're fantastic. <laughs> See my new cookie jar? I saw your cookie jars. I was looking at them. I was like, so since some, some asshole bought mine, I had to go get, replace them. So <laughs> funny story, folks. <laughs> His dad not so funny, his, not so funny. His dad gave me a cookie jar years ago. It was like a pumpkin and a skeleton. Totally 80s or 70s cookie jar. He comes over one day, he goes, oh my God, I got the same cookie jar. My grandma had it. No, he's like, you had the same cookie jar. I go, jar. that what? is your cookie jar, what? now it's mine. What? I'll give it back to you, dude. Yeah, no, you put it with your no. Other cookie jars. No, I no, no, no. I, if you find me a Frankenstein. Dude, I eat then cookies we'll so it. fast, they don't go in a cookie jar. So this thing, yeah, that I think that's hard to find. I want to show them this Monster Madness game down here. Just the artwork is so cool. Go ahead and grab it. Pick it up. Half is, you know, you like it for the artwork. That's it. And I have, you know, I always complain in videos and interviews I've done where in the 90s all of the artwork on monster toys just got so stupid and lame they got cartoonish cartoonish and like neon colors and the wolfman had pointy ears you, you and don't just different you don't have those illustrations anymore like you used to where as a kid i'd get lost in this stuff you know i'd be staring at that old tree like that and just 
this stuff got so, so sure. stupid. It's called and I, having that imagination. Imagination, man. It's a latex puppet uh, or some sort. It's He's all pretty latex. pretty big, too. It's pretty big. It's latex. Somebody made it. Um, I think it's called, I think it's by a, a company called Bumpin' the Night Studio. Oh, yeah. I remember Bumpin' the Night. Yeah. Totally. Found that at a flea market. I know that shit. <laughs> <laughs> so these are the original wallets. Yes. Holy cow. With the original display. I noticed that. That is wild, dude. They're like little kids' wallets. Yeah. Wolfman, Phantom, Frankenstein. But they're, they're two-sided, too. That's Oh, God, yeah. Oh, there's Dracula. No shh. Yeah. No shoot. Yeah. <laughs> you no gotta, shoot. So you, in a sense, have them all. Yeah, so every day I just flip them upside down so yeah. I see, you know, different ones. That's cool, man. Oh, man. What is this? So it's a cardboard cutout. Oh, the Wax Museum. From the Wax Museum up in New York. In New York. I was there, man. Yeah? Uh, by, by Niagara Falls. Yes. It's still there, man. I, be I believe that that's some sort of an original cardboard cutout of something that some kid colored or... I don't know, though. I tell you what this is. This was a mask. The eyes are cut out, and they glued it to a piece of cardboard, I think. Uh, I bet I bet this was a mask. Even with the advertisements up top. See though? the nose you can cut out so it pops out. Oh yeah, you're right. It's gotta be. Leave and, it to and, Rudy. And I think they cut I think someone glued it down, you know, to save it, and then they put the bloodshot eyes in. Leave it to Rudy to know it. So you have something here that was one of my favorite freaking toys as a kid, and I cannot believe it's in front of me right now. This Castle Dracula Funhouse color form set. Dude, I played with this all the time. And these images are burned into my freaking brain. See these backgrounds? So you'd, you'd set this up. I think it stood up or you just put it flat, but you'd open these doors and then you'd see these things behind them. You know, these, these like the coffin would open. And for those of you out there that are only younger and only play with Pokemon stuff, these yeah. are color forms. And they'd stick down to these boards and you could put these monsters everywhere. But dude, this was one of my favorite toys of all time. I, you're talking, it's got to be 70s. I think mid 70s to yeah. uh, late 70s is what I would wow. say. Wow, I this brings back crazy memories. I had a lot of different color form sets. Some of them command a lot of money these days. Yeah, way cooler than an iPad. Yeah, and the batteries don't die on this, folks. Look, look at that. Look at the little artwork. You know, that's what I'm talking about. There was everything was so cool. They went out of their way yep. to illustrate things and make everything cool. Which is just so lost these days. Everything's sure. day glow and dumb, you know. And, and electronics. It drives me freaking crazy, folks. Yep. So, Eric, Rudy, I can't thank you enough. Thank you, for buddy. For letting me come down here. I'll shake your hand, yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It's growing. Every time I come here, there's new stuff everywhere. And uh, I knew everybody out there would probably like to see this video. I'm going to put Eric's Instagram on here so you can follow him. Please do. Please do. Uh, always open for emails. Uh, come see me on tour. Uh, yeah, I love Kansas. talking monsters. Yes, yes, please. Um, you can follow his tour across the U.S. And Europe and everywhere in the world. And his monster stuff. And my monster stuff, yes. And if please. you find rare monster stuff, you get a hold of me Yeah. and not Eric. And he'll buy so. it and he'll sell it to me for way more money. <laughs> but, dude, thank you for letting us come through this crazy thank collection. You, folks. And, uh... I'm sure we will be back. Cool. Over and out. All right. See you guys soon with more cool, weird stuff.